Hi, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an onboarding uh, process where a bunch of tasks are automatically applied to a ticket and several sub tickets will be automatically spun off. Um, uh, and those sub tickets, they could also have their own sub tickets applied. So here you can see an example of what this might look like. Uh, in this case, it's for when a new hire starts at a, a company. Uh, we can see that when I created this ticket, it automatically applied the task list and it's also automatically spun up uh, tasks, subtasks divvied out to the different team members that need to be completing this. If we jump into the sub ticket, we can see that things are being predefined like so. Uh, in this case, it's also automatically got its own task list applied. So how do we set this up? Well, the first step will be to go to the tasks app like so and uh, under the task list, list section here, click on add task list and then we'll give this task list a name uh, onboarding uh, and then we'll set this task list to be uh, automatic uh, like so. Um, by setting it to automatic, you can see we've already got a create trigger button uh, that will uh, be able to have this task list automatically applied when we choose, but we'll come back to that uh, soon. So now we've got the task list uh, created, but there's no tasks in it. So we're going to have to click add task to make that happen. So I can um, type out each task individually. Uh, note that each task can have a notes section, um, a link to external documentation. Um, if you have a ticket template, and we'll talk about that soon, uh, and you want it to be automatically converted into a sub ticket, this is where you select that here. And then if you want to have a workflow to uh, do something uh, on a ticket based on when this task is completed, you would set a tag to be created. But we're just going to create this one here. So we've got our task here. But we can actually do uh, this a bit faster if you've um, kind of uh, got a list ready to go. You click bulk edit up here and then click uh, uh, to uh, add that. And now you've got your task list ready to be applied. Okay, so what about if we wanted to convert some of these tasks into sub tickets and divvy it out to different team members. This is where ticket templates comes in. So for each um, a different type of ticket that needs to be spun up, uh, we'll, we can create a different temp template uh, by going to ticket templates and clicking on add ticket template at the top right hand side here. We'll call this one a uh, contract uh, signed um, ticket template. Uh, you can give it a subject. Uh, and then uh, you can um, basically fill out all of the fields just as if you were filling out a regular Zendesk ticket. The difference being um, that uh, you can do stuff relative to what was on the parent ticket. So rather than specifying its own priority, you can say same as parent. You can say the same parent tags. You can say the same as parent uh, form. When you choose form, uh, basically all of the uh, fields uh, will will show and then you can continue filling out those fields, uh, either sp specifically setting uh, information in those fields or once again, copying it from the parent like so. So once you're happy with uh, what this uh, kind of uh, template looks like, uh, at the bottom you can click on save, like so. Uh, and then back in the task list uh, that you've just created uh, for onboarding, that template can then be used uh, to be applied to the task that are, uh, you know you want to be spun out into a sub ticket. So here I'm choosing the contract signed template to be applied to the task contract signed. And we'll update that. Okay, so the last uh, kind of uh, part of this is to be able to have this task list applied automatically uh, when a ticket hits the right state or when the right things happen on a ticket. Uh, so to be able to do this, uh, we go back to our task list. Note that we did set this task list to be automatic, which makes this create trigger button visible. It's a one-time clickable shortcut that will create a Zendesk uh, trigger uh, ready to um, kind of uh, fire and automatically apply a list. Now when it, this ticket is cr uh, trigger is created, it will have rules in it that uh, will ac actually never take place on a ticket so that to ensure that um, you don't have uh, you know, task lists uh, and triggers firing willy nilly. Uh, so it's very easy to kind of uh, clear these rules out, this test task list tag, it's looking for that and it's also removing that tag. So we'll just remove those rules uh, and now we'll set up a, a, a rule for this um, a task list to be applied. So when the ticket is created and the form uh, is uh, client 
onboarding. Then we want this task list applied. Click on save and uh, we're done. So we've created the task list. We've created ticket templates that are going to be applied to task list items. We've created a trigger that's going to be automatically applying the task list uh, at the desired time. Now we can test it out and say, uh, you know, test onboarding like so. Uh, we'll give it a, a requester here and uh, we'll set the form to onboarding like so and submit that. And once this ticket is created, we should be able to see that that task list that we just created has automatically been applied, ready to be checked off. And the uh, sub ticket uh, for that, uh, you know, which we define in the template has also been spun up automatically. So yeah, that is how you can create a, a, an automated uh, onboarding uh, or new hire flow. If you have any questions, uh, email us at support at sweethawk.com. Thanks for watching.